said that has to do with what's going on right now and why this is not about Shirley and Andrew, why this is about mm -hmm. the NAACP and the Congressional Black Caucus and the Democratic Party. Tainting the Tea Party movement with the charge of racism is proving to be an effective strategy for Democrats. There is no evidence that the Tea Party adherents are any more racist than other Republicans and indeed many other Americans. But getting them to spend their time purging their ranks and having candidates distance themselves should help Democrats win in November. Have Having one's opponent rebut charges of racism is far better right, than discussing this joblessness. This is about politics, mm -hmm. and this is about tarring the American people and the Tea Party movement with the false charge of racism. Let me ask you a last Good to see you. Thank you. You know, there is nothing more interesting than seeing a bunch of racists become confused and angry it's, at a speech they're not quite certain what he's saying. It sounds right to them, and then it, and then it doesn't make sense, which let's, let's be very honest about what this is about. Mm -hmm. It's not about bashing Democrats. It's not about yeah. taxes. They have no yeah. idea what the Boston Tea Party was about. That's right. They don't know their history at all. This is about hating a black man in the White House. This is racism straight up. That is nothing but a bunch of tea-banging rednecks. You've got the Tea Party. They can be found engaging in just the, the vilest type of racism at all levels. This has been their go-to issue since the Koch since the Koch brothers put them together. A well-known Democrat uses the Ku Klux Klan to try and make a few bucks in a fundraising appeal. Alan Grayson of Florida made a plea Monday night that included Klan members burning a cross. The T in that cross helps spell out Tea Party. The text follows with, now you know what the T stands for. Well, the black community doesn't need to be reminded of the horrors perpetrated by the KKK, yet their so-called leaders remain silent. Former Rep. Well, actually, Rush Boat, racism is the belief that one race, whites, should rule all others. Get your definition straight. That here. No, I don't think there's a double standard at all. I think it's entirely legitimate to look at the Tea Party. I mean, here are a group of people who are admittedly racist, who are overtly political, who have tried as best they can to harm President Obama in every way they can. I don't think there are correct parallels between the incidents. There's a body of congressional people that want to paralyze the system. I think what sits underneath it, unfortunately, is there's probably some racism involved, which is really awful. Has Obama helped the process of eradicating racism, or has it in a I don't strange think way made it worse? Made it worse. Made it worse. Look at the... Look. The Tea Partiers who are controlling the Republican Party stated, and what's this guy's name? Uh, Mitch O'Connell. Is that his name, O'Connell? Yeah. yeah. Mitch McConnell, yeah. Mitch McConnell. Their stated policy, publicly stated, is to do whatever it takes to see to it that Obama only serves one term. Mm -hmm. what's, what, what, is that, what underlines that? Screw the country. We're going to do whatever we do to get this black man. We can, we're going to do whatever we can to get this black man out of here. But is that necessarily a racist thing? It is a racist thing. Is it not it's... just Republicans? Wouldn't they say that about any Democrat No, because they would have gotten rid of Bill Now, Trump. do you think that Michelle Obama knew that Ben Jealous was, was going to be laying the groundwork for painting all Tea Partiers as racist? One hundred percent. I believe that this has been a coordinated attempt uh, you know, all the way back to the health care uh, bill, the town hall protests, uh, the administration, the SCIU, the AFL-CIO, uh, all these groups were trying to push this narrative that the Tea Parties were racist, and it was a thesis looking for evidence. And so you would have celebrities like Janine Garofalo say it was racist, but you would never find the incident <clears throat> that would warrant the, what happened. And so at the very end of the health care debate, when they were about to pass the bill, you saw the, uh, the congressman walk, the, the Congressional Black Caucus, right. walk through that group of people, and at the very end of it, Rep. Congress, Rep. Carson said that the N-word was said 15 times. Right. I offered $100,000, nobody came for it. We showed five videos at that exact place where he walked down. We show five videos from five different angles. It did not happen. They, when, when we confronted them on it, they said that they were going to move forward. This is not moving forward. This is the NAACP ratcheting it, ratcheting it up. This is, what, uh, this is the opposite of the party of FDR. 
FDR said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. This is fomenting fear in order to stoke fear in the black community, in order to get people elected, or okay. in order to make them work. Yes. And, and the motivation is so clear. There, there is such a desire to find evidence that doesn't exist. They so desperately need to kill the Tea Party that their desperation becomes part of the narrative. People can see right through what the Democratic Party is doing. And it's, it's very unfair behavior. It's, it, they're not playing fair politics. And the American people are, are, are taking note. And November uh, can't come any sooner. Whenever you use the race card, you're playing dirty politics. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far. From where I started from, nobody told me that the road would be easy.